Hello everybody, Marty Richards with Richland Center Tourism here today. And yes, there are some certain signs that fall is coming or it's upon us. Uh, a couple of them, number one, in, the, in our area, sumac trees. The sumac tree is the first thing you notice, and really it's a bush, they aren't, they aren't trees. Uh, you notice that color starting to show up. Uh, also at night, you notice all of a sudden the football, soccer field lights are on, high school athletics kicking into gear, and then probably the surefire sign that fall is really close is when uh, Oakwood Fruit Farms retail operation kicks into gear. Today I'm here with Judy Alvin from Oakwood Fruit Farms. Uh, we're gonna kind of get you up to speed on how their spring and summer went. You might have seen some pretty cool video this spring uh, from the apple blossoms, but this summer they've been busy too. I, I always accuse uh, Steve, one of the owners here, that he just naps all summer, but that, <laughs> that's not true at all. He, they're, they're working the whole time. So Judy, thank you for joining us. We're here today in the retail store, and the retail store is up and running now. Uh, you're getting to where full speed is happening because apples are coming. But uh, when people come up, what can they expect that they'll find available here early in the season at the retail store? Well, of course, the bakery is very popular. That's what everybody's been waiting for the most is for the donuts. I, I agree. And I agree. soon the caramel apples will be coming, probably by the weekend of the 20th. We should have caramel apples here. Uh, starting to pick apples. We've been picking apples just since the 15th of August. So those are slowly coming, but um, each week we add more varieties. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and that's kind of the interesting part too. A lot of customers come weekly for their apples. So each week then they can see new varieties joining with the apples we've already been selling. You bet. So that's a great question. So this spring, a lot of folks might have seen that video we had that really was unusual. I, I've seen great apple blossoms up here before, mm -hmm. but this past spring was, that was an aberration. We don't get that every year where everything blossoms all at once. It was just an odd spring. I believe your dad, who's been involved up here, he's 80 years old. Mm -hmm. I, sorry, John, didn't mean to throw that out there, but he is 80 years old. 85, actually. <laughs> and in three days' time, we were totally in full bloom. And normally that can last up to 10 days to, to two weeks yep. that we're in bloom. But yeah, it was a very fast bloom. Everything set. It was incredible. So that then causes some additional worker issues as well because I do know if every one of those blossoms became an apple, that's a problem. So help us understand how you had to deal with that. Well, it is because you don't want every apple on the tree to set as an apple because you have too many apples and then you have little apples and everybody likes a nice big apple. So then you have to do the process of thinning. But today we are out, I just kind of strolled through the retail store mm -hmm. and uh, quite a few items. Uh, local author, Kathy Allball, was able to pick up. You've got books over there. And they are autographed. Uh, they are autographed. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I got Kathy's autograph. Yes. Uh, and then, hey, one of my favorites, the Richland Locker. Mm -hmm. They have Richland Locker products as well. Um, you know, we also have honey locally sourced. Actually, you have honey that is produced by bees that actually come and do their work here. Is that correct? That's correct. The honey that we sell here, Little Red's Honey, um, they're located out of Reedsburg, Wisconsin, but that is where we rent the hives that we bring in the spring for pollination. Uh, just a multitude of different locally sourced produced items here uh, that we're able to get. Um, if anybody follows us at all, you know I get excited about the bakery. We'll, we'll probably give you a little shot of that as well. Anything else that we're really missing? Um, grapes. Grapes you will tend be to coming. have some grapes. Yes, grapes will be coming in September. Um, and those are normally sold as pick your own. So everybody enjoys doing that. Um, just want to do a little hint. We do still have our homegrown grass-fed beef here. So that's very local too here on the farm produced. And then as the season goes on, there's usually activities that happen out mm -hmm. front as right. well. You have your brat bar. Customer Appreciation Weekend is October 1st and 2nd. Yep. A lot of people are looking for that. Yep, same weekend as Center Color Fest yes. with all the activities. Uh, there's a wine walk in, in Richland Center on Friday, the return of the Canyon of Lights Parade on Saturday. So uh, head up to Oakwood Fruit Farm for Customer Appreciation Days that weekend as well. So again, Judy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, you bet. Um, we'll have to come back and visit a little more this year. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, just a really cool, it's a neat drive up Nebraska Hollow, or you can go up Hell Hollow yes, if you, you dare. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the other option. 
Uh, but either, either route will get you to Oakwood Fruit Farm right up here on Apple Ridge. For Richland Center Tourism, I'm Marty Richards. Hey, let's everybody have a great day. Thank you.